The Monology Oracle Cards and the Queen of the Moon Oracle Cards are two popular oracle decks that use the moon as a source of guidance and inspiration. Both decks are beautifully illustrated and easy to use, but they have some key differences. The Monology Oracle Cards are a powerful tool for personal growth and transformation. They are based on Yasmin Bolan's system of moon astrology, which uses the moon's phases and signs to provide guidance on all areas of life. The cards are also infused with Bolan's own personal insights and wisdom, making them a powerful tool for self-discovery. The Monology Oracle cards have 44 cards, each representing a different aspect of the moon's energy. The cards are divided into four suits, the moon, the sun, the stars, and the earth. The moon cards represent the unconscious mind, the sun cards represent the conscious mind, the stars cards represent higher consciousness, and the earth cards represent the physical world. The Monology Oracle cards come with a 192-page guidebook that provides detailed interpretations for each card. The guidebook also includes information on how to use the cards for divination, meditation, and other spiritual practices. If you are looking for a powerful tool to help you on your journey of personal growth and transformation, the Monology Oracle cards are a great option. They are beautifully illustrated, easy to use, and come with a comprehensive guidebook. Queen of the Moon Oracle Cards is a deck for connecting with the moon's energy and guidance. The Queen of the Moon Oracle Cards are a deck for connecting with the moon's energy and guidance. They are based on Stacey DeMarco's own connection to the moon and the seasons. The cards are designed to help people connect with the moon's energy and use it to manifest their goals and dreams. The Queen of the Moon Oracle Cards have 44 cards, each representing a different lunar phase or seasonal energy. The cards are divided into four suits, the new moon, the waxing moon, the full moon, and the waning moon. The new moon cards represent new beginnings, the waxing moon cards represent growth and expansion, the full moon cards represent culmination and release, and the waning moon cards represent introspection and rest. The queen of the moon oracle cards come with a 120-page guidebook that provides detailed interpretations for each card. The guidebook also includes information on how to use the cards for divination, journaling, and other creative practices. If you are looking for a deck to help you connect with the moon's energy and guidance, the Queen of the Moon Oracle cards are a great option. Which moon oracle deck is right for you? The Monology Oracle cards are based on Yasmin Bolan's system of moon astrology, which uses the moon's phases and signs to provide guidance on all areas of life. The cards are also infused with Bolan's own personal insights and wisdom, making them a powerful tool for self-discovery. The Queen of the Moon Oracle cards are based on Stacey DeMarco's own connection to the moon and the seasons. The cards are designed to help people connect with the moon's energy and use it to manifest their goals and dreams. So, which deck is right for you? It depends on your needs and preferences. If you are looking for a deck that is based on a specific system of moon astrology, then the Monology Oracle cards are a great option. If you are looking for a deck that is more intuitive and open to interpretation, then the Queen of the Moon Oracle cards are a great option. Ultimately, the best way to decide which deck is right for you is to try both of them out and see which one you resonate with more. The Monology Oracle cards are based on Yasmin Bolan's system of moon astrology, while the Queen of the Moon Oracle cards are not based on any specific system. This means that the Monology Oracle cards may be a better fit for people who are already familiar with moon astrology. The Monology Oracle cards are divided into four suits, the moon, the sun, the stars, and the earth. This can be helpful for people who are familiar with tarot or other card decks that use suits. The Queen of the Moon Oracle cards are not divided into suits, which can be a more intuitive and free-flowing system, the Monology Oracle cards come with a more detailed guidebook than the Queen of the Moon Oracle cards. This can be helpful for people who are new to Oracle cards or who want more guidance on how to interpret the cards. The Queen of the Moon Oracle cards, on the other hand, is designed to be more intuitive and open to interpretation. The Monology Oracle cards have a more feminine and mystical theme, while the Queen of the Moon Oracle cards have a more earthy and nature-based theme. This may be a factor to consider if you are drawn to one theme over the other. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Share this video with your friends if you think they'll like it and subscribe for more great videos.